Go ahead. Hi guys, Robin from Rainbow Gardens here, and today we are going to talk about hummingbird feeders. Uh, it is very important right now uh, because the temperatures are in the triple digits that we are regularly cleaning and refilling our hummingbird feeders. Now, right now, they are recommending that you change out your hummingbird feeders every two days. It's normally every two to three days, but because the temperatures have been so hot, they're saying every two days. Now, they're not just saying that because they're running out of fluid. They're saying that because a lot of times, you know, this thing's huge. I, I can't imagine we would have to have a huge, huge supply of hummingbirds to be able to empty this thing in two days. So do take that into consideration when you're filling up your hummingbird feeder as well. Uh, but the, the reason uh, with the sunlight, the triple digits, the sugar and the water, that is just a perfect recipe for uh, fungus and all sorts of other things to happen there in that hummingbird feeder. And we are hanging these feeders up to help them. We do not want to kill them, but you can kill them if you are not cleaning this. This will get a fungus uh, and the poor hummingbirds, their tongues get really enlarged and they can't eat and then they end up dying of starvation and that's all because someone did not clean out their hummingbird feeder so please don't overfill them put just as much as you think they would drink for two days and then that kind of reminds you that hey i need to take this and clean it and when you clean this you are going to want to take the entire thing apart every piece every piece of it anything that comes off everything and clean it Soak it in hot, soapy water. Use a brush if necessary. Uh, but these need to be cleaned. Now, there is no need to buy red food coloring or buy uh, pre-made uh, hummingbird food that has red food coloring. They are attracted to the color red, but they can find those hummingbird feeders and the nectar. So whatever you do, don't add any kind of red food coloring or anything to it, they will find it. But I'd like to give you a recipe for homemade um, hummingbird food that you can make. It is one part white sugar and four parts boiled water. So you're gonna boil uh, some water on the stove, measure out four cups after boiling because you will lose some in the steam. Uh, mix in your sugar and then let it sit to cool. You can put it in the refrigerator overnight if you want to, um, but it must cool before you put it into the uh, feeder. Now, what else do hummingbirds eat? They uh, are really cool little guys. They like to eat soft-bodied insects, and that's actually the majority of their diet is those soft-bodied insects, which are like fruit flies, aphids, mosquitoes, which is a definite bonus. Um, and then the rest comes from nectar, which, uh, you know, uh, flowers and any feeders that we put out for them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to change out your feeders. I have four. I have two feeders in two different areas of my yard. So, uh, and I do that for any kind of bully, um, bully hummingbirds that might come by. But I have the two and then I have two in the house. So I have a total of four. And then I will have two rinsing and soaking and drying and uh, ready to go. And the other two are hanging. So then I'll go ahead and fill my two and I'll bring them outside already filled out, filled up. Take my others out, hang those up. And that way I know I have done that every two days and it has, and, and they constantly have that supply of um, nectar from me. And um, I know it's clean and healthy for them. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we hope that you like and subscribe and we hope you have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.